Okay, so our next speaker is uh, Alan Kolmaik from Reservoir Labs. Alan is a director of engineering, heading the team uh, that works on the R scope appliance, and he will be talking about uh, building a new protocol analyzer in uh, BNP Cup. Hello. So, uh, folks that were here last year might remember I was a little injured, and so no, uh, no broken bones this year. My wife wrapped me in bubble wrap, so I'd be sure I'd be okay to get here. Um, so, about me, um, Alan Komek from Reservoir. I'm from the West Coast, so um, off in San Jose. Um, my day job is Director of Engineering at Reservoir, and also um, I co-chair Sinet Network Security, so um, part of supercomputing. And um, I'm going to have a shout out to my team. So some of my both teams are here. Some of the Reservoir team is here. Peter and Jordy are in the audience, and some of the Sinet team is also here. So thanks to all those folks. Those are the ones that actually make stuff happen. Um, and without them, we wouldn't have stuff happen. So um, let's get going. So I'm going to talk about bro analyzers. Um, basically, what are they, um, and why would you care? And then I'm going to talk about a, kind of what a minimal analyzer really is, if you wanted to do your own, and then incremental improvements on those minimal analyzers as I go through demos. So um, basically, from a minimal analyzer, or from, from what is an analyzer perspective. Um, so most people here, and most of the time here, has been spent in bro script land. Um, and in script down, you, you have bro script, you have bro policy. Um, what analyzers are are the things that generate the events and pull the data out of the stream of packets coming in the network. So um, the bro scripts are the ones that do all the interesting analytics and things like that. The analyzers are the ones that understand protocol. So if you look at um, within, um, within Bro, you know, there's a source analyzer protocols directory. And those are some of the protocols, or, or almost all the protocols that Bro understands to begin with. Um, so when this all comes together, um, we end up with a con log. And the con log is pulling stuff out of protocol. Um, and what really what we're talking about is that there's a service string. So how do you know if your protocol analyzers are doing anything? Well, you could look at the service string. Um, in here, we have a bunch of stuff we don't know. And we also have stuff that we do know. So we know we have DNS. We know we have HTTP. But we don't know what's running on port 17. And we don't know what's running on port 31337. And so that's really what we want to get at. So how do we write an analyzer to figure this out? Well, go to the Bro community. Uh, we saw early, earlier in the day that there were packages. Some of the packages have new analyzers in them. Um, if you go to your popular vendor, there are a couple of vendors, including Reservoir, that do um, Bro services and um, Bro appliances and things like that. So ask your favorite vendor, and your, your vendor will do that. Um, or do it yourself. And that's what we're here about, the do it yourself part. And there's a bunch of different stuff that we want to do, um, want to think about when we're doing analyzers. So, um, might want to just identify what it is. So when, when you're looking at your network data, so put on your, your analyst hat, your, your, you're looking at your uh, security stance, and you have unknown stuff on your network. Well, that unknown stuff is the stuff you really care about. Like stuff that's known, yeah, you care about that too. But if it's unknown, you don't know what protocol it is, you don't know what's going on. Um, from a security perspective, that's bad. So you kind of want to know what everything is. And if you get services that you don't know, that's ripe for, well, do I need a new analyzer there? So in our case, and a lot of times just identifying is OK. So we, we want to identify what 17 is. Looking it up, we know 
that 17 is actually um, quote of the day. So someone is running quote of the day on, on the network. Um, and so how do we write an analyzer to fill in that string? That's, that's really what we want to do. Um, and I'm going to do this live. So anyone that asks me about presentation, they say, I'm going to do a live demo. I said, don't do that. But I'm going to try to do a live demo here um, and see how it goes. OK. And I'm getting old, so I can't see. Um, let's do bigger font. OK. Hey, there. Um, so actually, to follow along, let's go back for a second. Um, so if you want to follow along, probably don't want to switch back and forth. Um, there we go. Uh, so a lot of times people put um, strings, like go to this URL, and no one does that anymore. So these are the Google searches that you want to follow on. You want to type bro bin pack, click on the first link. You want to type RFC quote of the day, and hit the first link. And GitHub bin pack quick start and hit the first link. So if you do that, then you'll be following along where I am. So getting back to that. Um, and that's where some of these tabs are. So the um, quick start is right here, something that Vlad wrote three, four, five years ago, uh, initial import. Um, and this gives you the basic structure to create an analyzer. So let's look at um, Bro itself. So if I type use local Bro bin Bro dash -A. My, my hope is like this talk will give you stuff you could go home in, home with and do. So dash n gives us the analyzers that Bro knows about. And these are all built-in analyzers. Dash nn actually gives us um, what events are associated with those analyzers. So we want to add a quote of the day analyzer to that. So first thing we need to do um, is back to the top. Um, testing. So uh, clone the repo. So we clone that repo, uh, and that gives us a bin pack quick, quick start there. Um, and that bin pack quick start is really simple. Uh, there's just a little Python file and some templates. So Python start py. And so part of what I'm going to do through here is make a lot of mistakes, because I tend to make a lot of mistakes. Um, but when you do something wrong, um, that's where you learn. Like if everything went perfect and I didn't have typos and things worked right, then no one would learn anything. Well, you, you'd learn some. But you learn more by saying, oh, look at that error message, and this is how you fix that error message. So I ran, bin, just run quick start, and all right, so this is what I need to do. Um, so we're going to create, a, well, actually, let's do this. Telnet localhost um, 17. Yeah, this is what was run. So let's go look up quote a day. What it does is it returns a random quote. And that's really when it gets a connection, it returns a quote. Um, bro is now Zeke. So um, that's what quote a day does. Uh, so we're going to run Python start the py, um, and we're going to give it um, quote of the day, and we're going to say it's quote of the day, and um, we're going to put it in um, a quote of the day directory, and it's TCP, and it's a plugin. So Robin talked about plugins earlier, and we could do plugins with analyzers, and it doesn't work. Um, so the reason it doesn't work is it's expecting really to live inside the bro tree, but you don't have to have analyzers inside the bro tree. Um, so if you do um, make a directory for it and tell it, well, I want a quote of the source directory and scripts directory, and then, and then it works. Okay. 
So, and it actually took me a few iterations to figure that out. Uh, so we'll go to quarter of the day, and there's nothing to compile it. Um, but Bro comes with a bunch of templates. So the really nice thing with Bro is that we'll copy some of the templates to get this thing to compile. Um, source, Bro, Bro, Ox, um, Bro, Ox, plugin support. That's what we want. And in plugin support, um, there's a bunch of skeleton files, and we want configure to here. And we want make file to here and go back up top. So actually, so why don't I just make my window smaller so we don't have to worry about going off the bottom of this. Um, so I'm going to run configure. And it wants the bro directory. So bro dist equal root source bro, and don't do things as root. OK, that's it. Um, my analyzer um, was compiled, and it, well, it, it, it was configured, and now it's compiling and um, installed. So that's it. Now, if I run um, user local bin, you know, bro bin bro dash n, there is the quarter of the day. So all I did was get a quick start, type a couple things in quick start, compile it, and I have a new analyzer in bro. It doesn't do anything yet, but that all that just added the analyzer into bro. Um, so um, no version information. So let's go into source. There's a plugin directory here, and um, we're going to say that there's a config um, version major equals one, and version minor is zero, and we'll reinstall, reinstall that. Um, and there's my quarter day analyzer version 1.0. If I do an NN, I see that, well, it has one faction, quarter day in that. So if I go, um, go another, if I go into a logs directory and I run and give it a PCAP, um, Yeah, pcaps. Okay, if I give it a pcap, um, I get logs and con log. Um, con log still doesn't have a service ID, but the analyzer is there. But I do have a quarter of the day log. So the question is, well, what's going on there? Um, and so Bro has this notion of DPD, and I'll talk about that um, a in a little bit. But what is happening is in the scripts directory, um, we have something in here, uh, DPD to signature. And this is always enabled, and I'll talk about DPD a little bit later. But um, this, what we want is this always to attach to port 17 because we know it's port 17. So we're going to disable DPD because we don't want it to always attach this analyzer. And what we're going to do is we're going to say um, in the scripts directory, the first um, thing in Mendep Pro is that, well, we know that this thing runs on port 17. And um, we know likely ports. So this is all part of the boilerplate template. So it all comes already set to do. And we'll register for um, the analyzer on the ports that we know. So 
Um, and that's all script land. So there's, there's really not much more that we need to do. Um, if I run, um, oops. PCAPs, the quote of the day, PCAP. Um, and now I have a um, quote of the day log also. And it kind of looks the same as what we did before. And I also have a con log. Um, but it's actually doing something different. It's connecting just because it's port 17, now it's connecting. It's not always connecting. So if I run another PCAP, um, actually, so let's do, um, let's go back. Yeah, yeah, we won't do that. Um, so let's get the service field in there. Um, so in scripts main.pro, pro, what we're going to do is we're going to say when the quoted a day event gets triggered, um, we're going to go and add c dollar service. Um, Quote of the day. And if I run that again, now con that. Um, oh, install. Now it says it's quoted today. So I've basically created an analyzer that attaches to port 17 all the time. Uh, when something is on port 17 and it tells me it's a uh, quarter of the day. And within the analyzer itself, um, we could pull out data. So um, if we look at the source code, um, one thing that we could do is in the protocol analysis, now what's happening is it's saying that the protocol unit that we're extracting is um, basically data, which is all of the data. Um, and that goes and passes it to the generate the quote of event. Um, so what we could really do is say, well, I want to pass um, the message to data in, and we know for, actually, th this is not going to work, but um, let's try it anyway. So if I do, it says, well, that there's an error here where it doesn't know how to convert the quote of the day to, um, Oh, actually, there's a couple of different errors. Um, but so we didn't create, fix the, um, the header in that. And I'm running out of time. So this is taking longer than it did in my um, run through. Um, so in events, the event that we want to generate, actually, we want um, quote of the day, or yeah the quote and string. Um, so OK, so now it's complaining about byte strings. So it can't convert that data thing into a bro thing. Um, if we grep um, bro source, if we grep for byte string in bro source um, analyzer star and spell it right, um, we see we have byte strings two things. Um, so that conversion that you need to do um, is actually bytes 
byte string to val. Um, and so looking at that source and looking at other things is basically how you can write these big bin pack analyzers. Um, so we would be able to convert that to a byte string, um, pass it into Bro, and it would show up in Bro. Um, let's go back to the slides. Um, so the other part that um, we did, so this is one thing, and the other unknown analyzer is um, on this port, and we know that that is FIX, um, financial interchange format. And same thing for that, but it's on an unknown port. So Bro has what, what they call DPD, Dynamic Protocol Detection. And for FIX, um, there's um, a set of strings that um, we, we want to look at, and from there, you actually analyze the protocol. Um, so we had a customer ask us to generate this fixed protocol. We did the analysis. Um, we ended up putting it up on Bro uh, GitHub. Um, so it's a pretty good example of um, a analyzer. So if you look at um, GitHub, there is a source directory that has the different analyzers in it. So it's the same thing. The, the plugins, the source directories, um, the BIFs that go with it, and um, the protocol. And in here, this is saying that um, you know, this is how we parse uh, the fixed data and look at that. Similar to uh, if we look at the scripts directory, we look at um, the DBT signature in here, um, we're saying, well, in order to find fix, and we know that because we looked at um, the protocol document, that you know, this fix is, starts with a begin string, which is an eight, and then it's the name of um, the fix type of thing. So we have this signature that attaches the protocol and then goes and parses that protocol. Um, so uh, the, like, like I think what she's running to, um, I wanted to do a, a lot from a demo perspective but didn't get into very much of it. Um, the point is that the bin pack analyzer or the bin pack quick start is really quick. Um, it will get you a basic analyzer. You can have signatures to attach to that analyzer. You can fix ports to attach to that analyzer. Um, and you could start really small in saying, well, I know, know what this thing is. So let me put it into, get it into con log, get a, a log of it out. So from a security stance, you always know what's on your network. And then start adding to those, um, those analyzers, like an 80-20 rule. Um, you could get 80% there with 20% of the work, and then the other 20% of the work is another 80%. Um, so, um, but there's a lot of examples to go with, and I am out of time. So I'm gonna pass this on um, to um, Dan, who's gonna be talking about using Fix.